Thank you very much. Can you guys hear me okay? Great. So, really excited to be here. They say when you do something that makes your heart beat faster, it's doing something that you love. In this case, I think it's just regular old stage fright. Uh, so before going into what Karma does, I want to talk about, because we had an argument before putting this presentation together, like what is crazy, because we use that word in this presentation. And we, we realized that being on this stage, you have a very, very narrow spectrum of what's crazy. So right now, you think I'm like, oh, he's got it under control, he's not that, you know, it's not that crazy right now. But all it takes is like, if I pace like this, I'm fine, right? But if I start pacing like this, it's, oh, it's borderline crazy now. And it's the same with the hands. If I have my hands like this, no one thinks of anything. I can hold like this. But if I all of a sudden start to go like this throughout the presentation, you're starting to feel like oh, he's, he's going a little bit crazy. And if, like, the higher I go, the more crazy it gets almost. So if I start to do a presentation like this, it quickly goes out of hand. But what's really crazy is that we throw away food, a lot of food. We produce food for 10 billion people, yet we're only 7 billion people on this planet. That's crazy. That is one third of all food that's produced that's never consumed. This is 1.3 billion tons of food every year at a value of $1 trillion. Now that's really crazy. That's more crazy than the hands in the air. So uh, we thought that we need to do something about this. So we created Karma. And it's actually a really, really nice moment for me today because Karma is turning two years old today. So it's our two-year birthday, which is really nice. Thank you. And what do we do? So it's a super simple concept. We're a marketplace where consumers can buy surplus food from our sellers. That is restaurants, cafes, and grocery stores. Really, really simple. They upload their food to Karma, and you as a consumer can get it. So what do they get out of this? They get increased marketing. If you look at Stockholm, Sweden, where we're based, a restaurant has an average 10,000 followers in our app, meaning that when they upload their you know, 10, 20, 30 surplus meals for the day, 10,000 people get notified to say, hey, this restaurant is taking care of their surplus. Do you want to save it? They get increased foot traffic. So working with some of our bigger partners in Sweden, some of the bigger grocery stores, we are seeing that people buy food through Karma up to four hours before walking in the store and picking it up. And when they walk in, 80% purchase something else. So we are literally sort of helping use surplus as a marketing channel. You get increased revenues. So as a seller in Karma, you can get between 30 to 50,000 pounds extra per year. Now that's not neg ne negligible. Jesus, that's a hard word, especially for a Swede like myself. Um, it's, it's, an, it's a massive amount of money, and you're also saving time, actually. So uploading food to Karma takes less time than to throw it away. And you also get consumers to come and pick it up for you. So you, they help take off the burden of food waste. And most important of all, you're environmentally friendly. You can get some CSR points for working with Karma because all of a sudden, you're taking care of your food waste, you're environmentally friendly, and you're getting some benefits out of it. On the other side, we have our buyers. That is you and me. And what, what do we get from this? Well, we get super high quality food from great restaurants. We have some, some examples of restaurants that are in the platform is Aquavit, uh, Soho House in London. Uh, we have Vasegen in Sweden. Has anyone ever heard of Vasegen in Sweden? Oh, a couple of people. Nice. So you know it's a good restaurant. That's the whole point of the story. And you get high quality food for half price off. And we have half price off because it self polices the platform. If we try to put on a 20% discount or a 30% discount, it would still be valuable. But the restaurants would start to see like, hey, I'm not making this much of a sacrifice compared to my regular sales. And it's really you know, flying off the shelves when putting it through Karma. So by having a 50% discount, it actually helps the restaurant to keep this to food waste, because that's what we need to do, right? As a user, you discover great new locations. We have this wonderful 62-year-old Swedish lady who actually been to 100-plus locations around Stockholm and the vicinity, using Karma only. 
It's one of our favorite users. We brought her in for a coffee just to see like, what drives you. And she said, like, well, I'm using this platform as a discovery platform, which, I mean, we've been trying to pitch it for years, but she put it into motion. So now we have the perfect example of a, uh, an exploring user. You get social proof. And in the beginning, we didn't really think about this, but we started to see that people took screenshots of their profile pages, where it says how much money you've saved, how much CO2 you've re helped reduce, how many kilograms of food, food waste you've helped prevent. We started seeing people taking screenshots of those profile pages and uploading it to their Instagrams and social media accounts. And of course, you feel a little bit better, right? You didn't take a regular meal. You got a karma meal, and you helped save the planet a little bit more. And as a seller, there are three simple steps. You upload the food, and it literally takes less than one minute to do per day. So it's not really a heavy investment from the seller side. You sell your food, so you can see the consumer platform there, which is the mobile app that you buy the food from. And then it's reserved in your name once you've bought it, so you go and pick it up as takeaway on location. So we don't put any additional strain on the restaurant. We're taking care of an existing problem. We're not creating a sort of new line of profits or a new line of you know, producing food. So to summarize what it is that we've done, whoops. Maybe? Yes, there we go. We're growing really, really fast at a rocket ship pace of 20% month over month. We have 40 amazing team members in Sweden, which is, uh, yeah, we spend a lot of time on people, and we hope that that shows. Uh, we have almost 2,000 locations in Sweden and in the UK that you can save food from, and we're now expanding into more of Europe. We have saved over 600,000 meals to date, and more than 10% of that is from the last 30 days. We've raised quite a lot of funds, so now we actually have a really great opportunity to make sure that this problem is voiced properly. We can actually take a stand against food waste because, again, if you remember the arms, pretty crazy, but this is insane. And I think you all agree that we need to sort of do something about it, and we're definitely here to help. So what do we get out of it at Karma? The only thing we do, because we believe so much in that we can solve this problem, we take a transactional fee. So it's free to sign up. It's free to use. If we don't help you reduce your surplus, we don't charge you anything. We'll even help you onboard as a seller. That's how much we believe that this is actually working. So why are we here as a company? Uh, we actually want to prove that we can be both impactful and profitable. Because everyone today is talking about social entrepreneurship like it's a separate bucket of entrepreneurship. And we believe that you can definitely say, I'm a social entrepreneur and a regular entrepreneur, whatever that is. So you can actually merge those two and be a, everyone can be a social entrepreneur and still get something out of it. We believe that in order to have big impact, you also need to be a big business. So we definitely think that we can be the one for food waste to do this. And we want to create a movement because this is a huge problem. Remember, 1.3 billion tons of food, a trillion US dollars every year thrown away. So we need to get together to solve this because we know that we can never solve this on our own. So we need your help to sort of go out there, fund as many social impact food waste startups as you can because there is so much to do. That's all for me. Oh, I got a nice desert background. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.